Hello everybody and welcome to another video here on the channel. I am making this video on Halloween. I really have nothing going on, but you guys probably want to see this video on Friday. So for those of you guys watching this video, I hope you had a great Halloween. With that being said, let's get into the topic of this video. So a couple days ago, the new Modern Warfare 2 Remastered came out. I'm probably not going to end up picking up the game, uh, considering for two things. One, it's 69 bucks, and I really don't want to pay that much money. And two, there's a lot of features that are currently missing in the game. I might get the game when season one releases. I think this is like the free season, but that's not really the topic I wanted to discuss today. So a couple weeks ago, YouTube of the name Review Tech USA made a video called this feature will ruin Modern Warfare 2. Now I'm not going to play back the whole video, that would take too long, uh, but for context I will leave the link in the description of this video so you guys could watch it. But it basically goes into a feature that the Battle.net client has called SMS Protect. Now I really don't see a problem with this feature, it's been out since I think Overwatch 2 to where it was mandatory. That's not really the problem I have with the feature though. The problem I have is that it supposedly doesn't work with prepaid phones, meaning that a lot of people will be ineligible to play this game that they spend their hard earned money on. This information does come from IGN. Let's read it and then we will discuss. Upcoming Call of Duty has annoying phone number verification requirement. This practice limit access to Overwatch 2 for players on prepaid claims. Now this article was released on October 10th, so it might be outdated and it might be some updated articles with the information I'm about to explain to you. The article states, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 will require players to register with a phone number on Battle.net. It's also available on Steam by the way, which I do greatly appreciate considering that I really don't like having my Call of Duty separated on like two clients, but that's just me. Anyway, back to the article. In order to make players responsible for their actions, this game is set for release later this month on October 28th. Now I'm not going to go into the whole article, but here's the important thing that I should know here. Mobile phones with prepaid plans may not work with the notification service. It also doesn't work with like voice over IP so you can't use a Google voice number or a text now or any of those voice over IP services. The problem is that SMS Protect is designed for text enabled mobile phones and doesn't treat all phone numbers equally. A separate Battle.net support page notes that mobile phones with prepaid plans may not work with the phone notification service. It also doesn't work with voice over IP numbers that restricts the service to players with post play cellular plans which may not be affordable or easily accessible to many players around the world. And that is correct. A lot of people don't have good credit scores or they simply like the freedom that a prepaid plan offers because you don't have to be in a contract and you own your phone most of the time. And there's a lot of people who live in countries that don't offer postpaid service, it's just prepaid. And what about the people that maybe travel around the world a lot or they go to a lot of business meetings? That restricts them from playing the game too. However, there's one thing that the article fails to state along with review checker say that this only applies to mobile virtual network operators, meaning that services like AT&T, Verizon, and T-Mobile prepaid plans will work with Now for those of you who don't know, a mobile or virtual network operator is basically a phone carrier that just uses the three main uh, company and just rebrand it. So in the article, it states right here, one Modern Warfare 2 beta player told PC Gamer last month, but they were asked for a postpaid phone number to start the game with Battle.net, refusing to accept the number associated with a prepaid Quicket Wireless plan. Quicket Wireless, by the way, is a NVMO, and they run off the they run off AT and T. So I have AT and T, and my number works fine. This seems very wrong to require video games play to enter into a contract with a telecom company before being allowed to play the game they paid for, the person says. So that's what 
most people fail to admit in the video. I know Rich has a prepaid line and he probably will use that prepaid line for stuff like video games and stuff like that. And I'm pretty sure he's not going to have any problem playing the game. Uh, now it could also be that he's been a battle.net user for some time. And that has something to do with it too. I know if you've been playing for a while or you played Overwatch 1, you won't have to use it. But it kind of sucks that he didn't put that in there. Because there's probably a lot of people that can be playing the game that haven't even bothered to purchase it. Because they think their phone number won't work and it will. So if you have at t if you have Verizon or T-Mobile, you shouldn't have any problems. You should be able just to put it in there, get your verification code and you should be set but if you have like cricket wireless metro or anybody else like that you might run into some problems but i haven't had any problems with that so with that being said guys thank you guys for watching the videos if you do like the video please like the video and if you dislike the video that also helps a lot makes me know if you want to see more videos like this in the future and with that being said again hopefully you guys had an awesome halloween and i will see you in the next video thank you for watching